Mastering multiplication doesn't have to be big drama. If you take a video field trip to Math Park, your youngsters will be excited about learning those pesky multiplication facts. The Math Park multiplication series begins with the basics, learning the twos, fives, and tens. We then move on to other facts. Different strategies are explored and we relate previous learning to the new material in each video lesson. Let's take a look. Hello, chipmunks. Welcome to Math Park. I'm Park Ranger Arithmetic, but you can call me Ranger Riff. Math Park is the place where seven, eight at times tables, and math is always fun. We're going to have a grand time. Today, we're going to learn multiplying by six. <laughs> Today we are multiplying by 6. Let's go over what we already know. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 6 is 30, and 10 times 6 is 60. We've already learned those. And now the new stuff. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 6 is 42. 8 times 6 is 48. And 9 times 6 is 54. Multiplying by 6. Hey, can you say the product to the next multiplication fact you see before this weird lifeguard character does? 18! Did you know that knowing how to multiply by 3 can help you multiplying by six. Knowing how to multiply by three can help you multiply by six. Suppose someone asks you, what is three times six? And you don't know the answer. Try this, multiply by three. That means say three times three is nine. Then double the product. That means, 9 plus 9 is 18. And guess what? 3 times 6 is 18. That is why knowing how to multiply by 3 can help you multiply by 6. That does work. But the way I would do it is, if I didn't know what 6 times 3 is, I would think, I know what 5 times 3 is. That's 15. And then I would just add another 3 to it, and that makes 18. The Array of the Day Beach Balls we have three rows with six beach balls in each row. Let's count them. One, two, three. And if we think of the three rows as being like three groups, we would have three groups of six, and we would write it as three times six. And how many beach balls are there altogether? Eighteen. Three times six is eighteen. Now, what would happen if we turned the array of beach balls this way? Now we have six rows of three, and if we think of it as six groups of three, we can write it as six times three. And how many beach balls is that? Eighteen. Roberto, are you ready to play Multiplication Cover-Up? Sure. Great, let me pull up the screen. Oh, that's oh, awesome. I love cool. that. So what are the rules? Oh, I'm glad you asked. And here they go. The object of the game is to cover four squares in a row. You can cover them horizontally, vertically, 
or diagonally. To cover a product, you must say the multiplication fact that goes with the product. Punch the buttons on your remote control to cover the product you want. Can I be green? Sure, and then I'll be red. Okay. Would you like to go ahead and start first? Sure. 5 times 6 equals 30. Cover. 10 times 6 equals 60. Cover. 1 times 6 equals 6. Cover. 8 times 6 equals 48. Cover. 9 times 6 equals 54. Cover. 4 times 6 equals 24. Cover. 6 times 6 equals 36. Cover. 7 times 6 equals 42. Cover. 7 times 6 equals 42. Cover. 4 times 6 equals 24. Cover. 2 times 6 equals 12. Cover. 10 times 6 equals 60. Cover. 7 times 6 equals 42. Cover. 2 times 6 equals 12. Cover. 8 times 6 equals 48. Cover. 6 times 6 equals 36. Cover. 3 times 6 equals 18. Cover. 9 times 6 equals 54. Cover. 5 times 6 equals 30. Cover. 4 times 6 equals 24. Cover. I win. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now it's time to head over to the multiplication station where Max the Multiplier is multiplying by 6. From the Fun Factor satellite in outer space, and the Proud Product Studios in Hollywood, you are watching The Multiplication Station. Hey, this is your multiplication station, VJ Max the Multiplier. Today, we're multiplying by sixes. Check out these wily, crazy videos and see what you can learn. How do you think you did? Are you ready for the multiplication station quickie quiz? Let's find out. 
The Multiplication Station presents The Quickie Quiz. Wonderful! See if you can say the answer to each multiplication fact before I do. Ten times six equals... Sixty. Six times six equals... Thirty-six. Five times six equals... Thirty. Eight times six equals... Forty-eight. Four times six equals... Twenty-four. Seven times six equals... Forty-two. Three times six equals... Eighteen. Nine times six equals... Fifty-four. And two times six equals... Twelve. How'd you do? You know, if you miss some, you can go back and practice with the video again. With a little practice, you'll become a multiplication sensation. Math Park is the tool to help students stay excited learning their multiplication tables. Order your copy of the multiplication series today.